Let's talk about the Cotton Bowl real quick, because this is Missouri against the Buckeyes. Buckeyes have just had so many transfers right now. It's just, I don't even know what to make of it. What a huge opportunity for Missouri. What a humongous opportunity mm -hmm. for Missouri. You've, you've had a, a stellar year. Luther Burden's coming back. Brady Cook's coming back. You've got a ton of momentum. And just saying the words, if you're able to beat Ohio State, I understand the opt-out situation, right? Kyle McCord, gone. Fleming, gone. Ohio State's got a whole, like, five-star, four-star recruiting class in the transfer portal right now. But, but, when you go in to recruit going forward if you're Missouri, and you go in that living room and say, well, you know, we just went 11-2 and two and beat Ohio State's ass in the bowl game, that carries some weight. You want to talk about momentum going forward? This, this is the perfect opportunity for Missouri to capture a big prize for half the price, in my opinion. You can go take down Ohio State when they're not at full strength. You are at full strength with a ton of momentum, but you get the cachet of saying, hey, every, every down, we, we go into the, the signing periods. I know we have the one in December now, okay? And this game's gonna be played, gonna be played after this, but you have the, the momentum going into the next class. You have the late signing window. Hey, guess what? Look at our trajectory. We just went 10 and two and won our bowl game to go in 11 and two against Ohio State. 50 years from now, you beat Ohio State in the bowl game and went 11 and two. They're not gonna be like, well, you know, Julian Fleming was in the transfer portal, no. you know, but it's, it's, I think it's a huge opportunity for Missouri. What's the, what's Clearly the Vegas there? is taking that into consideration because Missouri's favored. Really? What, Missouri what? is favored minus one and a half. Oh my, <laughs> right now, parlay, Ole Miss plus three and a half, Missouri money line, because I don't want to play with the minus one and a half and then win by one and then me get pissed off. Uh, I, I would parlay those two instantly and then I would, I would add Georgia minus 13 and a half to it. I would sprinkle a decent amount of cheddar cheese on that one. Mm -hmm. Well, if you're Missouri, like you have to capitalize on being one of the prettiest girls at the dance right now. For sure. Like you have to because, I mean, lately it's been ugly. You know, you're at Trailer Park walking around. No one's really excited. You upgraded a little bit. You're in middle class. Your house looks great. I mean, you're driving Mercedes to work. All yeah. Right? Kids you are in private school. You need to come out and win this football game, not only for recruiting, but for the transfer portal as well. I mean, guys in the transfer portal seeing Missouri I hear beating Ohio State. Like, Missouri, no one wakes up in the morning like, hey, man, I can't wait to go to Missouri. All right, well, no one used to, but you win this game. Yeah. All right, people might start doing that. That's exactly and if you can do that, Look, Missouri's one of those teams, man, that can get dangerous really quickly. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on drink. And drink don't care. Like, drink drink is, has Lane Kiffin, like a Lane Kiffin personality if people haven't figured that out. Hey, I don't know if I you mean, saw him, but he did the Connor Stallion thing. He did the Connor Stallion thing. thing. Yeah, thing. Which I was saying, look, it might not, playing the Buckeyes might not be as funny as you think it is, but then the whole team <laughs> decided to enter That's the That's exactly transfer. right. But that defense down the stretch of the season, if the, if the Buckeyes defense shows up and plays the way I know they're capable it's of gonna playing, it's going to be tough. It's going to be a great game. It, I don't yeah, know who's be. playing quarterback. I don't know who's playing wide receiver for them, but I know what they can do on defense. Yeah, but I feel, I feel like you could steal one. I would, I would absolutely hammer Missouri, I, I would take them on the money line. I don't think that's a bad choice. With, without a doubt. All right, guys, Christmas is almost here. Holiday season, however you celebrate it, it means gifts. Santa! I know, it means gifts. And we all get super duper excited about it, but we have another great gift idea for you. Ladies, if, if you're late getting gifts for your husband, or hey, husband, if you wanna smell good, or if you just wanna smell good in general, our friends at St. John's, you need to check them out. The cologne is outstanding. Uh, 75 years ago, Cool little story here. U.S. Navy officer Captain John Webb blended the local bay rum with the island's tropical bay leaf oils and spices as the genesis of their collection of genesis. distinctive men's fragrances. It's top class. My wife absolutely loves it. It's a classic, all right, but it's not boring at all. Smooth, spicy, irresistible, and we all know you would love it for your Christmas gift. Whether you put it in stocking, wrap it up, put it on the tree, regardless, you're going to smell great, fellas. So what are you waiting for? Go to stjohnsbayrum.com. Use our promo code BOOSTER, that's B-O-O-S-T-E-R, at checkout for exclusive discounts. That's stjohnsbayrum.com. Use promo code BOOSTER today. Cone, give me one word to describe St. John's Cologne. Yeah. Fresh. Mm, Blaine, give me one. Lady ballers. Yes. Awesome. Make sure you go check it out today. Everybody on YouTube, thanks for stopping by. If you haven't yet, make sure you check out our new movie, Lady Ballers. It was the top streaming movie in America on Rotten Tomatoes. We're unbelievably happy with the response. Uh, you can check that out on Daily Wire Plus, but also while you're here, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and turn that notification bell on.